this is how I play the game! Shout out to the great Rad Rad who did a 10-bit cheer and he asked a question about fans not being fans or something. Um, what the hell is it? He says, is there a time when some of your friends turned against you and not being fans anymore for wrong reason? I don't know. I'm not my, I'm not my fans. I don't know why, if and why fans. I'm sure there are. I'm sure there's some of these people who are so disgruntled against me feel that I've done some kind of a personal slight against them sometime over the years, despite the fact that I probably have never had any direct interaction with them. Some people are like that. I hate to say that, but some people get, like, really obsessive over stuff. And they feel like they have, like, this crazy personal relationship with me. Um, even though I probably never even had an interaction with them. And, you know, maybe there's something that happened over the years. I made a decision not to play this game. Or I played this game and I, I made a joke about a game developer that they love or something. And now they've got this crazy-ass, you know, obsession with, oh, Phil's an evil person or a bad... I don't know. Listen. I don't deal with that shit. I'm here to play games and have fun. That's the bottom line, folks. Excuse me. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Whew. Holy fuck. This is Call of Duty World War II Private Beta for the second day in a row. Yesterday I basically got my first taste of, you know, what the game has to offer. Now, I haven't been doing great, I'll be honest. You know, my kill-death ratios have been pretty terrible. But that's because I'm not used to it. I'm not used to playing these kind of games. Um, and also, you know, playing on console, I'm, I'm playing it and I'm like, oh, my aim is so off. And I'm remembering, you know, back to another era of my life when I was, uh, very much a PC gamer. Earlier in my life, I used to be a PC hobbyist. I built gaming PCs. I built gaming PCs. I built gaming PCs. I cannot build a PC. I cannot build a PC. I cannot build a PC. And I used to, uh play these games uh, on PC. You know, Call of Duty 1 and 2, I both played on my gaming rig back then with mouse and keyboard. And boy, is the aiming better with mouse and freaking keyboard. So, that's the deal. That's what we're doing today on stream. About three to three and a half hours of gameplay of Call of Duty World War II. Uh, <clears throat> um, you may be wondering, because this was a big experiment yesterday. Yesterday when I uploaded my, my footage of this beta to DSP Gaming, the big test was, would these videos... Uh, be demonetized on YouTube. There's been a lot of talk on YouTube about videos being demonetized. In particular, videos regarding guns, shooting, and war-style gameplay. So any, you know, first-person shooter, you know, is getting, you know, demonetized. In particular, there are YouTubers who pretty much only cover Call of Duty, and I know in 2017 that sounds very bizarre, but they still exist. There's YouTubers who still are one-trick ponies and only cover one particular IP, um, and these, these YouTubers earlier this year were trying to cover Call of Duty World War II. They were trying to do like, you know, oh, first look videos or analyzation videos of the gameplay we've seen so far. And when they were doing this, uh, their videos were all getting demonetized, okay? So, that being said, it was a big test for me to see, gee, if I release these videos, will they be demonetized or not? Well, there's good news and bad news, folks. The good news is... Not a single video of my Call of Duty footage so far has been demonetized. They all still have ads on them. They're playing. They're fine. No problems. Okay? Now, if you really want to know um, what I think, one of the reasons why my videos were not demonetized, well, guess what? I did not put World War II or WW2 or WWII in the title nor in the tags. What I did is I said WW, then I put a space, and then I put II. In the tags and in the, the the title of the video. Now, of course, for online search for YouTube, that means that probably no one's ever going to find the videos in search ever. Like, you'll never see my gameplay in search because it doesn't technically say World War II at all. Alright, but because I did that, I think the algorithm missed the videos. But here's the downside of that, folks. The videos have, like, no views. And that's kind of sad because this gameplay is good in my opinion. Those of you who were on stream yesterday really liked it. You were having a lot of fun. You were like, wow, this is, <clears throat> you know, pretty good. Phil playing an FPS and it's entertaining to watch. It's a different kind of game. It's a throwback. 
um, people on the stream really enjoyed it. But pretty much, you know, like I said, on YouTube, not very good performance at all for these videos. So, it seems like that's the trade-off. If you hide your videos from YouTube's demonetization algorithm, your videos will have ads on them. The problem is, then no one watches them. <laughs> so, what a nice, what a, 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 what a great trade-off, right? So it seems like you're damned if you do, or you're damned if you don't. Um, it sucks that obviously the videos on YouTube can't get all any traction because I have to fucking hide them. But it is what it is, I guess. Um, Black Mage C type did a 10 bit cheer, and he says, "Seeing as you probably ne much, ne you seeing as you pretty much never show up in the YouTube searches anyway, I doubt that renaming the Call of Duty World War II playthrough vids will make much of a difference in views anyway." Yeah, I know. It sucks. DSP Gaming has almost completely fallen out of YouTube search at this point. Um, because I don't cater to the YouTube methods that make you profile well in YouTube search or related videos. Uh, you know, most people who watch my stuff, um, are pretty much just my hardcore fans. Those who've been around for a while and or those who just know about me and come and watch the videos I put out no matter what I'm playing versus... The casual YouTube viewer who's searching for a game in search pretty much never finds my stuff anymore. So, um, if you're not aware, there's five days left in a month. That means there's only five days left to pledge to my Patreon. And sadly, I don't have good news. Um, a few people did pledge recently, which was good. And it put us to under $200 under the monthly goal. Well, last night, a bunch of people lowered their their pledges from last month, because now we're realizing it's near the end of the month, right? And because it's near the end of the month, now people are going to say, oh, I, you know, I pledged big last month, and I don't really care about this month's goal or whatever, so then they lower their pledges at the end of the month. So now we're more than $200 away from the goal again. Ugh. And folks, I've been telling you this for the past two weeks. No exaggeration. Um, at this point, I need your support more than ever. This September... I'm going to be financially strapped because my taxes are due and because YouTube ad revenue was very low. Uh, in the month of July, I can tell you this month ad revenue is getting better. In fact, as of like last week, I noticed that ad revenue is higher. More than likely because guess what? We're heading into the hardcore gaming season. We're heading into the season where you're going to see more video games and stuff like that advertised. And therefore, ad revenue is going to spike again. But the problem here is that... Uh, I've got my taxes due and all my normal bills, and I'm going to make a lot less money because July ad revenue was so low on YouTube. I'm in trouble, and I need your help, all right? And Patreon is money that I rely on every single month to pay my bills, like the, the electric bill, the internet bill, you know, games in particular, all the new games coming out that I'm going to have to afford. And the fact that at this point we've got a $200 deficit is a bad thing, very bad. <laughs> um, I hope with five days left, people will rally... Okay, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll pledge. I don't even know what else to say, you know. Anything for this, right? But, uh, you know, I don't know what to do to convince you guys to pledge at this point. Um, I really need the help, and it's a great goal. You know, being able to nominate and vote on the ho horror games I'll be playing on Halloween, and I'm voting on what kind of Halloween costume I'll be wearing. Yes, Vendatis. Vendatis says, taxes due in September is weird. Yes, that is because, guess what? I'm self-employed. And when you're self-employed every three months in the United States, you have to pay taxes. If you don't, if you only pay taxes once a year in a lump sum, you get tons of fines. I know that sounds really stupid, but you do. The government basically just wants their money constantly. You know, if you're a salaried employee at a job, they take your taxes out every paycheck. So the government gets their taxes pretty much every time you get paid. But for the self-employed, every three months, the big lump payment. Rob Contreras 3 did a 105-bit cheer and he says... Do you realistically see yourself doing this for the rest of your life? I wouldn't mind a life where I could play games all day, but realistically, it's not in the cards. If you could do it, though, more power to you, because clearly you are. <clears throat> Listen, I'm not, no bones about it. There's no way that I'm thinking in my head that for the rest of my life, I'm going to be able to play video games for a living. I'm going to get older. My hand-eye coordination is going to get thrown off. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this isn't going to last forever. Um, <clears throat> I certainly enjoy doing it now while I can, and I want to do it for as long as I can. As I said many times in the past, I wanted to diversify myself uh, into doing other stuff, like maybe starting my own business outside of the YouTube and Twitch streaming thing, but it just never happened. Since I moved to Washington, it was just like setback after setback, whether it was uh, 
you know, YouTube changing their algorithm in 2014 that screwed me over and made me lose a ton of views. In 2015, all the false copyright strikes that I got struck with, which forced me to delete videos and then made me fall out of YouTube search algorithm. It, the YouTube adpocalypse that happened earlier this year. It just seems like every time that I get in a position where, okay, now it looks steady, now it looks stable, now maybe I can say, okay, here's what I can afford and here's what I can't afford and everything, then another disaster happens. Um... It certainly hasn't been a stable thing these past few years since I moved to Washington. It kind of sucks. But who knows what the future will hold, folks. I can't look forward in my crystal ball and say, oh, this is going to happen and this is going to happen. Um, I just got to stick in there. So last but not least, folks, uh, I will just forewarn you. Yesterday we had some issues with DDoS attacks. We may have issues today with DDoS attacks. Uh, I can't really control it at this point. The only surefire way for me to prevent a DDoS attack would be to change my IP. Sadly, Comcast does not allow you to do that easily or quickly. I know that sounds really stupid, but it's the God's honest truth. I know this from two years ago. Um, so if I get DDoS attacked and knocked off the internet today a couple times, it happens. Ho hopefully they'll just stop doing it after a certain amount of time so that we can enjoy Call of Duty together. Keep in mind, I have no idea who's doing it. Um, someone who I don't know, who I've never personally met, who I've never, you know, done anything to harm. I don't know why they're doing it. It would be nice if they would come out and actually try to explain logically, but bottom line is I don't think there's logic behind it to begin with. Um... I just want to enjoy Call of Duty. I had a lot of fun playing this yesterday and trying to get better at it. So maybe we won't get attacked today. Whatever. Um, bottom line is, I'm probably going to have to change my IP no matter what. It's just I don't have time right now. You know, my days are booked. Maybe if it keeps happening, maybe this week at some point, I'm just going to have to put my foot down and call Comcast again and have a tech come out here and <clears throat> swap modems and get me a new IP again. As stupid as it is. Um, it is what it is. It's life. That's just what I mean. It's no reason for me to even get like frustrated about it. Because it is what it is. I already know what it is. I know how to fix it. It's just a frustrating, time-consuming thing to fix it. So, whatever. And between a cock and a hard place. Just did a $5 tip. Thank you. And he says, my cock is ready. Let's do our duties. Ugh. <laughs> oh, my God. That doesn't sound right. I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.